Hello students, this is Mr. Ueda. Welcome to the second video called Linking Question Slides for your Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game. Let's fast forward to slide six. Slide six is the $100 question slide. Okay, so remember your correct answer had to be typed in either box B or box C. Now, depending on where you put the correct answer, this video is going to be a little bit different for you. So I'm going to show the example where the correct answer is in box B. Now, if your correct answer is in box C, then I just want you to follow this video. But everything I do on box B, you're going to do on box C. So essentially, we are uh, programming the correct answer first. Okay, so some familiar steps. Let's go up to the Insert tab and let's click shapes. Let's go all the way down to action buttons. Let's choose custom action buttons. So over the correct answer, I want you to create an action button that is slightly taller and slightly wider than uh, that button. Now we don't have uh, a lot of room here, so don't make it too wide and don't make it too tall. Make sure you've clicked on the mouse click tab in the action settings window. Let's click on hyperlink to. Now, the correct answer is always linked to the same slide. And that is the slide that says, that is correct. Go to the next question. And that is slide four. So let's click on slide. And then let's click on slide four. And let's click OK and then let's click OK. All right. All right, let's go up to the Format uh, tab. Let's change Shape Fill to No Fill and Shape Outline to No Outline. OK. All right, let's deselect and let's test that button. So let's go to Slideshow and let's go to From Current Slide. Now, as we move our mouse towards a uh, button B or C in your case, it should turn into a hand and I want to click on that and hopefully it will take us to this slide. That is correct. Go to the next question. Okay, so I'm going to press escape to end the slideshow and I'm going to go back to slide six. So there's a number of ways that we can go about this, but I think the easiest is to click on that action button and to copy it because it's already programmed and all of the correct answers will go to the same slide. We'll have the exact same action. So I'm going to click on home and I'm going to copy it. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to fast forward to slide seven. Okay. Actually, let's go to slide eight. So what I want to do is now in slide eight, the $10,000 question, your right answer had to be in either box A or box B. So let's click paste. So I need you to position the action button over the correct box, whether it be box A or box B. So in this case, I'm just going to randomly choose box A. Your correct answer might have been in box B. But remember, your correct answer has to be in box A or B. So I'm going to leave it there. Remember, it's already programmed to go to slide four. So I don't need to do anything else. So let's go down. Let's fast forward to slide 10. And let's paste. Slide 10 is the $10,000 question. So let's paste. Now, the $10,000, sorry, the $100,000 question, my apologies, the $100,000 question, your correct answer had to be either in box A or C. So I need you to position the action button over the correct answer. So I'm going to randomly choose this time box C. Okay. All right. Let's fast forward to slide 12, the $125,000 question. The $125,000 question required you to have the correct answer in box A or D. So I'm going to paste and I want you to position that action button over the correct answer. 
Let's go to box uh, slide 14. Slide 14 is the $250,000 question, and your correct answer had to be uh, in box C or D. So let's paste, and let's position that action button over the correct answer. Let's move on to slide 16. Slide 16 is the $500,000 question. Your correct answer had to be in, in box A or D. So let's paste the action button and let's move the action button over the correct answer. And let's go to slide 18. Okay. Now slide 18 is a little bit different because if you answer correctly, it goes to a different slide. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop right there, okay? So now is probably a good time to save. Okay, now we're still on slide 18. Now remember, the million dollar question, the correct answer had to be in box B or D. So let's paste the object and let's position the action button over the correct answer. Okay, now we've got to change this hyperlink. So let's right click on it and go edit hyperlink. Now remember, when you win the game, we don't want it to go to slide four that says that is correct, go to the next question. We want it to go to the slide that says congratulations, you have won, who wants to be a millionaire? And that is slide five. So let's change this from slide four to slide five. Now this is the only time, this is the only button that gets linked to slide five. So let's click OK and then click OK. All right, so let's go back to slide six. Now we know that we've programmed the correct answer. Now in my case, I created the action button over answer B you may have created the action button over answer C. But now what do we do with the three incorrect boxes? Okay, so let's paste the action box, the action button, and let's place it over the first incorrect answer. Let me slide it over so that the two um, uh, action buttons don't overlap between box A and box B. If we have it too far over like this, it might in, uh, overlap, and we don't want the buttons to overlap because I think some uh, weird things are going to happen. So let's slide this uh, action button over. All right. Now remember, we copied the action button that brought uh, that uh, told us to go back to the slide that says um, that is correct. Go to the next question. But remember, now we're programming all of the wrong answers. So I need you to right click, and we need to edit hyperlink. Now we need to change it to go to the slide that says sorry but that is not correct. Thank you for playing. And that is slide 3. So click OK. And then click OK. So remember for each question slide we have three wrong answers. So there's a lot of programming in this step. So I need you to paste. Sorry, actually, I'm going to undo. We have to copy this new uh, hyperlink or this new action button. So I've got the new action button uh, selected. I'm going to copy. OK, and now I'm going to paste. So let me do that again. And I'm going to paste. So now I've got this new action button that takes us to the slide that says, sorry, that is incorrect. OK. And then I need to paste it again and place it over the third wrong answer. Okay, so there's a lot to kind of keep in mind here, but I just want you to go slowly. Okay, so now that I've created the three action buttons over the three wrong answers, I have to go to slide eight, the $10,000 question slide. Now remember, I'm skipping all of the odd numbered slides here. All right, let's paste. And then I want you to continue the steps 
creating and pasting this action button over the three wrong answers. Okay, so I want you to continue on slide 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16, and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, press pause. All right, students, so hopefully you've programmed all of your wrong answers for all of the even numbered slides. All right, let's go back to slide six. Okay. All right, let's go up to insert, shapes, custom action button. Let's create a rectangle over the 50-50 icon. Now, we want the 50-50 icon to always bring us to the next slide. Remember, the next slide, which is slide 7, is the 50-50 slide for the $100 question. So we always want it to go to the next slide. And that's kind of the default. So let's click OK. Let's go up to Format, Shape Fill, No Fill, Shape Outline, no outline. All right. So let's go to home and let's copy that action button. So now you have to paste that action button on every even numbered slide over the 50 50 uh, button uh, icon. So I'm going to go to slide eight and I'm going to go to paste and it automatically puts it exactly where I want it. So let's go down to the next even numbered slide and that's slide 10 and let's paste and let's go to slide 12 and paste slide 14 paste slide 16 paste and finally slide 18 paste. Okay, so remember to always save your file. So let's save. Okay, so this concludes this tutorial on linking the question slides. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.